I'm T-Pain from impatientprogrammer.net. This is PySide and PyQT Q main window in three minutes. Any sports bar is technically a toolbar. If you catch my drift, oh, that joke came too easy. Q main window inherits directly from Q widget and has a few major additions. Up top, you will notice a menu bar with one menu, and in that menu are two actions which have been separated. If we run the tool again, you will notice a status bar at the bottom saying you are gorgeous because it's true. I am gorgeous. <laughs> And you are too, of course. Notice that the message goes away after three seconds here, okay? Let's examine the code that made this window. At the top, you'll notice that we have two import lines. The order doesn't matter. We then instance our application, then instance our QMain window, which is replacing our Q widget from the previous tutorial. Next, we get the menu bar from our main window and add a menu to it called set window title. We then add one action called veggie, a separator, and then another action called ham. Actions are individual items in the menu that the user will click on to perform that given action. After that, you'll notice that we connect those actions to functions. Triggered is not only a term for angry people, it is also used here when the action is clicked. I created a simple lambda function to set the window title because a function is required as an argument for signal connections. Next, I get the status bar from the window and set it to show you are gorgeous for three seconds. The show message time is in milliseconds, so 3000 milliseconds is three seconds. You can leave out this 3000 if you want to have a permanent status message. Finally, I show the window and call the application. All right, now let's go over some frequently used functions. Add doc widget and add toolbar will be covered in later lectures. Add menu bar can be used to retrieve the windows menu bar. Status bar can be used to retrieve the windows status bar. Save state and restore state will save and load the state of the toolbar and dock widgets you have within your main window. For menu bars, I only ever really use add menu, which takes in a string, which is used to add a menu with that text label. For menus, I have add actions and add separators, which are used to create actions and separators. Within an action, you can set icon. Actions themselves can have their icon set. And of course, the triggered function is the main signal we use for connecting the user's click to some function. Finally, for the status bar, show message can be used to show a message in the status bar for an optional amount of time. All right, great work. Exercises are in the description. If you would like to see a practical application build from scratch, check out my tool development series linked in the description. Thank you to my wonderful patrons. And as always, like, subscribe, and keep the dream alive.